Well, if you saw the game last year, Washington State and Stanford, it was epic. And this one has the ability to be an incredible one as well on the farm. And I think when we look at Washington State, it's obvious after what they did a week ago to Oregon, their passing game is finally finding its flow. And when you really study the tape, it's how they run their routes. This is Gabe Marks. I mean, this is clinic-worthy NFL-style route, NFL-style throw. A lot of teams around the country are not throwing out routes anymore. Washington State is doing it. And they'll do it in the slot as well. I mean, the weapons that we thought would show up early on in the season are finally showing up in October. River Craycraft, I think he's one of the most polished route runners, if not the most polished route runner in the slot in the entire Pac-12 conference. Watch him work the hips of the Oregon DB at the top of the route. He scores him up, just breaks it off, third down conversion. Those types of elements are going to be huge against a Stanford secondary that is still injured. And for this Stanford secondary, they got to understand how to pass things off, leverage, communicate, especially with the tempo at times that Wazoo will try to implement. Now for Stanford, let's keep in mind, they've got one of the top players, if not the top player in the entire country, definitely in the Pac-12 conference, Christian McCaffrey. What happened in the UW game? He was competing, competing, competing. I think that his will allows Stanford to bounce back from clearly one of the most embarrassing losses they've had in quite a long time on the farm. This game will be at 7.30 on ESPN. It's going to be an interesting one. Wazoo, Stanford, still competing in the Pac-12 North.